AI is on everyone's mind, but what is it? In this short video, I'll give you an intuitive definition that has really helped me cut through the noise. According to this great book, any AI is simply a prediction machine. Now, compared to the robot killer dogs that sometimes come to mind when we think AI, these machines simply make predictions cheaper. And when something becomes relatively cheaper, we can do relatively more of it. This is an important insight because it ties AI directly to business value. We can break any business in two kinds of processes, run the business and steer the business. Each is composed of actions, some taken by people and some by machines, and those actions are informed by decisions. We can use AI to improve those decisions, but only when we respect that AI simply makes predictions cheaper. It's not magic. What does this mean in practice? Imagine you're running part of a business based on standard operating procedures. By definition, your actions are well-defined and so are the decision criteria. This limits the value of AI to simply translating the information you have into a better or faster prediction. Here, AI will make the biggest difference when it increases the quality and quantity of information that can be used to generate a prediction. One classic example of this is in machine maintenance. You already know which parts to replace for which reasons, but perhaps there are useful warning signs hidden in the free text notes written by your shift engineers. The value of AI in making predictions cheaper here is that it unlocks hidden information. If we think instead about steering the business, the value of cheaper predictions is different. Because the actions are not fixed but dynamic, such as launching a new product or service, AI can play a role across more of that loop. If you do this well, you can even use AI to fundamentally change your business because it unlocks new ways of operating. Returning to the machine maintenance example, we saw how AI could optimize an existing process inside one customer, but what if the manufacturer of the machine aggregated data across many customers? AI could then help both with summarizing that information at lower cost and allow the manufacturer to sell smarter maintenance plans to their customers and even generate predictions about how to change the machines in the future. I hope that has helped you understand AI better by explaining the mechanism by which it creates business value, making predictions cheaper. But this benefit needs to be applied to the right parts of your business to actually help, and this depends a lot on what kind of business model you have today and where you want to go tomorrow. Stay tuned for more videos in this series, or if you have questions or want help, click the link below to get in touch.